What's going on YouTube? This is Jim and I here again. We're back for another product review for you guys. I wasn't talking to you, but okay. There's some guy on a pod just passed by an old school one. Anyways, I'm over here at Trooper T Holsters, right here. Y'all see it? And uh, it's my car there. And I brought my Nighthawk, the Warhawk that I just got from Black Friday. So I'm here to get them to do the holster for me. Um, Cause this one has a rail on it. So let's get to it. Oh, nice place. He said he moved to a bigger place, so. I don't walk guys in, see? Cup of tea holsters. By the way, if you guys get one, lifetime warranty, okay? Yeah, then you got one. Yeah, I got one. What's up, man? How you doing? I didn't so, want. I didn't. I didn't want nothing kind of that big. That big. Okay. Oh no, it's huge. Uh, -uh no. Oh, there we go. There we go. Five hundred dollars for my pick. Yeah. How you doing, partner? Good, 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 good. Yourself? I'm good. Just working. Work as always. I see you guys move. I was uh, went down the other way. Yeah. So I was like. Mm. A little bigger room. Okay. All right. Bigger room is good. Yeah. I mean, business is good. Yeah, well, this is a nicer yeah, room to, for people to hang out in while well, we're making them. Is, is you you know? shows like this so the shop's much bigger, bigger as you can see. Yeah, it is bigger. I like it. Thank you. I really do like it. I have seen them. Still working on stuff. <laughs> what stuff? I've got something to finish here. Oh, okay. What's up, man? See, see how this kind of clip is right here? Uh -huh. So this clip, go ahead and throw that on real quick. Inside? We'll, yeah, go ahead and throw that on the inside. I don't know, without a belt, I don't know if that clip is going to work as good, but that's what works really good for these revolvers and stuff like you have. Okay? Let me go get a, uh, let me get a blue gun real quick. He meant by blue gun, me meant a dummy gun. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, I like the shop. Whoa. It's a very messy shop. You, you came in right after our Black Friday weekend. <laughs> okay. No wrong with that. There's all the dummies. All the dummies. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, that looking good. Yeah, this is for handcuffs. Mm oh, handcuffs. And man, this is for a police officer. Oh, okay. Uh, so handcuffs going to go in here, and his uh, extra mag will go in this. Who's he carrying a Glock? Uh, I don't know what he's doing. You don't even know what kind of gun he's carrying? Well, that's not a gun. I don't have a gun. All I have is this. But how do you know which mag is it? Because you know the Glock oh, mag's in there. Well, I didn't make this part. I'm just putting it together. So oh, I'll oh, probably rob it. Robert put that together, so. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Off the top of my head, but it looks like a Glock the way it's tapered down here. Yeah, because Glocks are a little bit fatter on, on the magazine part. Yeah, it's pretty big up here. Hmm. So, I'm just putting that together to him so he can talk to this gentleman out there. Mm -hmm. I like the shop, man. It's nice and yeah, big. Yeah, and, and it's bigger. Guys. Yeah, you know, I like I, it. Uh, I've been uh, doing a few other things besides just uh, that. But, uh, we've been pretty busy. We uh, sometimes don't have enough chairs up in the front for everybody. So right. How was your Thanksgiving? It was good. Uh, yeah, actually, mine was pretty good. Just me and my wife. This thing here turned off. No, no. This is but no, uh, it was good. How was yours? It was good. Uh, 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 that had come to a point to where my girlfriend's parents meet my parents. Oh. <laughs> it was unexpected, but you know it was it was cool. You know, everything yeah. worked out great. Show me that. Show me. Show me. Show me that. Oh yeah. This is uh, for a police officer. Actually, he works. I want to say exactly where he works. He works in Harris County. Okay. Uh, he does a lot of stuff in uh, plain clothes. Uh, this is his. Now he's got the hinged handcuffs here. Had to borrow those because usually we, we always get the ones yeah, where. Is, sure, no problem. We, uh, we usually had just the regular Smith and Wessons. He's got those hinged ones. Oh, the one that doesn't flex? Yeah, they doesn't flex. This is not the, these are the ones apparently you do not want to 
have on. Yeah. Oh. He said, he said, look, yeah. someone's giving him a hard time. This is what he goes to. <laughs> oh, shit. So I put a little tape on there when I'm molding this. And this does, it, this should not go in the other way. There's a certain way that they have to put them on. So he says that his muscle memory is such that he wants to pull them you know, this way. Oh, so, okay. You see, these, this is not coming out or anything like that. This is a little on the wide side, but we're actually probably going to put some speedies on this. This will be able to go kind of back here. So uh -huh. he's wearing this, he's going um, to have access to this, this extra magazine. He's got a cool uh, double stack pair of ordnance here. Oh, you got a pair of ordnance? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. I thought it was a Glock. Yeah, and, uh, and of course, this is nice because a lot of guys who have had to deal with uh, handcuff holsters, they know that, you know, sometimes it's either hard coming out or it's difficult going in. This is this is easy either way. We mm -hmm. have a found a secret way. I don't know, a secret way. It's not a good way to explain it. I found a pretty good technique to make this so that it's it holds. It's not it's not going anywhere. And it has enough tension. Yeah, it, it comes right out. Right. It has enough tension for it. So the secret is the oven, man. Huh? The secret is the way how you oven it and how long it takes yeah, and everything. That yeah. And, and some other stuff, some way I've been been it after the fact. So that's some cool stuff. But uh, so that's what I'm working on. This gentleman here, I'm working on a uh, basically a J frame. It's a Taurus. It's actually a really nice one. Um, and uh, we're gonna make him kind of a cool grab and go style holster where this will lock on because he wears shorts. So oh. this is going to lock on. This is an ulti clip. We're going to put this on here so that he can lock this on there so it's not going to come off. But, you know, we were just talking about the bad guy was there. You want to pull a gun out, but, oh, time out. I got to get this out of the holster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, you can't have that. If you're going to wear shorts, then an ulti clip is the way to And shorts doesn't have that very much weight, too. So usually the holster goes with it. Yeah. Yeah, usually. Exactly. So. That's why I wear jeans. <laughs> So we're going to go figure out how. Okay, you are right-handed, right? Yes. Okay. So You're right-handed? Most guys are. Yeah, most people are. Yeah. Okay. Weird, I'm not, and I can still clip that with the jeans too, can't Yeah, you can clip on the jeans. It has to, it has to man. The way he's going to make it. it has to. Because you, you never know what you're going to wear. <laughs> who, probably, who probably knows probably end up wearing pajamas? I think we'll work on it, man. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, man, it's Night Hot Custom. Yeah, this is very nice. Very nice. Shot about 200 rounds uh, before yesterday. Yeah. 200 rounds. I mean, is it accurate? Was it worth it? It was worth it. I mean, no jams, just, no malfunction. So this is not, this is not as good as like a, um, a Rock Island or something? No, that's... Like that. Actually, Rock Islands are good. You know, you can, you can, you can, you can make a Rock Island as, as shoot as good as that. Yeah. But the uh, from the quality and fitment and everything else, yeah. you will not compare it to it. Is there like a? Um, and you can tell. I can show you. Yeah. I can show you. Doesn't matter for me making the holster or anything like that. You see this got a little flex to it. Is there like a, an adjustment for that? just just for mine? Uh, they do so an A and a B unit. Yeah. The B one is mainly more for the. Uh, steel frame. Yeah. This is more mainly for more of the Palmer frame. Mm -hmm. and I believe you can adjust it. You just See, gotta pull looking, these two here I'm and then slide it out. Yeah. Hold that gun. Hold that gun. It's, okay. Yeah, I got it. I'm just kind of looking at this right here. Like when I'm yeah. when I'm flexing this a little bit, it's like it. It seems like you could probably. See if you look really carefully when I move this. Mm -hmm. The screws aren't moving. Just this is. I bet you could tighten this down and fix that. Right. I think that's what it is. I think it just needs to be tightened up. We got tools to do that. We can do it here. Yeah. I probably got some tools, maybe. Right. So, very nice. Thousand lumen? Has a thousand lumens on them, yeah. Yeah. So. Try to turn around, it's not one single malfunction. Can I dry fire this? Yeah. See how the trigger is? It's already been shot. So. What kind of piece of junk did he buy this time? <laughs> you didn't put on the. Okay. I don't think I was squeezing this tight enough. Well, that and then, you know. There's also trying to, it's like, man, got there's almost no take up in there. There's almost no slack. So there's just a little bit of take up, and then it's just basically, yeah, that is, that is, that is sweet. Is. There's no creep on it. Take it out, Pops. I said, what is it? It's a Night Hawk Custom. Oh, it's okay. a very expensive 1911. Very nothing cool. in here, right? No, there's nothing. Hmm. Yeah, it's sweet. It is. So. Rack it. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of it. It's good that try, I try it. No, try to trigger. It's good that I picked this up first because I'm the I'm the safety Nazi. Now hold on the trigger. 
hold on the trigger and then rack it and then let go the and then slowly let go of the trigger. You see how short the reset is? Hmm. See how short it is? Yeah, it's not. I think it meets in 1911. Did, did, yeah. Did you uh, have trigger work done to it? No. I bought it just like exactly the way it is. Huh. You don't know anything about Nighthawk? There's one gun, one no, gunsmith, I'm, I'm afraid, one I'm afraid gun is made at one at a time. There's a, there's a lot of guns I don't know anything about. Hey, let me show you. Put it on the table. Now this gun here is loaded, but it's facing the other way. Okay. Let me show you the different details on what, what makes it so expensive. Okay. okay, if you look closely, you see how this Kimber here, this is my beater. You see how it not blend in, you see how it's kind of like off? Yeah. Okay. You look at the crack of shit on this one here, you see how precise it is? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, is this still on safety? Can you hold this for me? Okay, if you put your thumb or your index finger and you rub it right here, you see you can feel the lump between the slide yeah. and, the, and, the, and the frame? Now put that one down on, on, or do the same one on that one. Put this one up, do the same thing. What do you feel? Seamless, nothing. But yeah. the frame, the slide is made for the frame. You know what I'm saying? So you so you don't feel no seams here, nothing. It's like it's made into one. Yeah, made one yeah, in the whole whole. It's made at the same time, so it matched it. Exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. why that's why not are so expensive because they're handmade. Yeah. Everything is about precision about them. So what, Compared what, to this, like this is handmade, right? Yeah. What this is <coughs> uh, retail with us was like forty two hundred. Mm -hmm. I got them back there for half of that. That's the reason why I got it. Really? And then, it sounds, sounds like, like a Wilson and uh, those types of people make these really expensive handmade jobs. Uh, Lesson Bear. Yeah. Not, not how custom. Mm -hmm. uh, Wilson Combat. And um, what's another one? There's another one called GI. I forgot the name of that. STI? STI is uh, another, but they're more of a 2011, not 1911. They're a 2011, but double stack. Okay. That's what their specialty is, is uh, for STIs. Yeah. But look, as you look closely, this is fully handmade. This was half made by hand and half yeah. made by machine. Okay, half of it, only, only half of it, not all of it. This is a hundred percent made by hand. That is a big difference. Yeah. So you put a lot of labor and hours of hand crafting, following okay. little by little, making sure the bushing and the barrel match and everything. You look closely. Uh, well, the guy's not little, but you can pick up the front end. Yeah, you can see how flush, good. how flush the bushing with the barrel is. This is this is this is different too. Yeah, the mag was the mag was bigger on this one. Right? Yeah, and it's, it's more subtle for you, easier to slap it in. Mm -hmm. It'll leave you quick. Exactly. Yeah. No, it's nice. It really is. Wish I could afford one. <laughs> My first one took me no. a long time. Yeah. A long no, time. I, uh, to save it. This one here, I have a credit card, so I just charge on my credit card on this one. Right. <laughs> There's a little more debt on me now. Yeah. Well, you know. But sometimes if you can't beat a, 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 if you can't beat, you're looking at 4,200 plus tax. You're looking at about almost 4,500 dollars, 4,800 dollars. Yeah, but half of that, why yeah. not? Hell, hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fact. Why not? And what I like about this one here, you see how it's rounded here mm -hmm. on on the slide. Look at the angle on that one. Yeah. Let's I'll try. Wanna, yeah. You definitely. Definitely totally different. So. And this is my first time owning a yeah. threaded barrel that you can put a silencer on it. Yeah, we've done a lot of threaded barrels, but I've never never seen one that's done like this. This is pretty cool. This a 9 or 40? 40? 45. Okay. Uh, I don't yeah, play that 40. Yeah, he definitely has to, because of this especially and this, he has to definitely use the gun. Right. Because it's not, you know, regular 1911 is not going to use it. This is my beater, so if it's ding, yeah. scratch, I can really care less. I understand. This uh, is this will be my backup if this is gone. Yeah. If this, if I would have shot someone in line of defense and please complicate this, oh, this is my, this is my, this is my backup. Mm -hmm. The other one that you, the one that you guys did last time, that's my safe queen. The other nighthawk, the black one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then there's a lot of people who would kill to have one of these. You know what I mean? Yeah, I there's agree. So many people who retail for this. Guess how much is the retail for this one here? This is a custom shop gold gold combat two. Okay. Okay. Retail for okay, those. I don't want to insult it, but I'm no. I'm gonna say fourteen to fifteen. No. How much? Thirty two hundred. Brand new. Guess how much I got that for here? Uh, got that much I got that for last uh, last year on Black Friday. One thousand. I know. A lot that of thing has more than a thousand rounds in it that I've shot through it. 
not not one malfunction yeah. and it's a kimber yeah and i'm amazed at that because i got i got two kimbers in there that i just use for molds oh you know <laughs> no i don't I do. I've got an Ultra and I've got one of those um, micro nines. Micro nines. Oh, micro nines! Oh, those things go. I heard that those are just this is just like still new, isn't it? Yeah, it is. yeah it just came out. What this year? Yeah. Did you like them? You yeah, shot them? I know, but have you have you shot a lot of rounds of them? Really? Oh yeah, the 938. Nine thirty-eight. Wow. Uh, they're almost virtually the same. Uh, you can stick that into a nine thirty-eight holster. Oh. Okay. There's a slight difference. Yeah. yeah just you a, say at, like, at the trigger, it's a little taller at the trigger. That's it. Well, it's also because SIG does their thing when the sides of the slides they come up a little higher before they curve over. Uh -huh. So it's a little bit boxier slide than a, a normal 1911. Same thing is true with their uh, at the P938, P238. They had that same sort of flat one. So next time when you look at it, uh, one of those SIGs, you'll kind of notice. That the that the sides of the slides are they're a little more flat than they're rounded. The day that I bought that that night hawk, yeah, I bought that and a six hour nineteen eleven Texas yeah, you edition. See how, you see how they did the uh, see how they did that? So they got more of an angular thing kind of going on at night night hawk. Right. Yeah. So so see, it's sort of the same thing. But what it is, the only thing I can explain is that the side yeah, of the slides, yeah, you know, yeah. when you're when you're comparing it to another nineteen eleven, mm -hmm. it just it comes up a little higher before they start to roll, uh, roll over with the, so, on top yeah, of that. So that's why a lot of times you can put a 1911, any 1911 in a SIG 1911's holster, uh, but not always the other way around. Oh. The way it's, it's, it just comes up higher. So what happens is you start digging in to that rounded part of the- Kydex, the, the, kydex the holster, where, yeah. Where it's made for a regular 1911. So um, that's why a lot of times Guys have SIGs like a Scorpion or a Fastback Nightmare or something like that. They have a harder time finding a good holster because of that of the way the way the way the slide is made. One specifically for a SIG if you have a SIG. Gotcha, if gotcha. Got, if you got a SIG and let's say a Colt, get a SIG holster. It'll work for both of them. It might have a little slop in there, but really it's it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Pretty close. Ones. So yeah. So I'm gonna mold this. Oh, and that revolver? Yeah, we're going to do this revolver. It's a little, little janky looking, the way I've got this set up, but you got to understand. Well, so really, this is one of those situations where you have a revolver and you need something kind of flat. So we're putting on different size uh, deals here. What this, is going, what this is going to do, okay, is that, it's, like I said, it's going to look a lot better when it's done. But I need to take this side off because... He, uh, he changed his mind on, on the type of holster we're going to make him. So you can't use, this is going to be a hybrid style. This is going to be one that is um, half kydex, half leather, right? Oh, okay. So you don't want to use a full sight channel going down. And again, I hate that y'all are you're videotaping all this. This looks terrible back here. But, um, hey, this is a business. It's not the house. <laughs> we had a crazy weekend, so I've, I've just been kind of just trying to get my get my bearings back and stuff though, because we had a huge weekend deal. So you need something funneled, okay? When I say funneled, like it needs to be kind of like a ramp. Like these, we just cut these out, it's not a big deal. But the reason why you want this instead of the other type is that when it's in a hybrid holster, the leather has some give to it. So you can fish it around. It can actually kind of be kind of sloppy in the holster. So when you have a funneled sight like this, okay, when the kydex comes down, it's gonna to come to the top of the, the receiver here. Um, and it's going to sort of lock it in so it can't, it won't have wiggle like play. Yeah, no sloppy. Uh, yeah, exactly. So you know, we're just using tape like there's no tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is put this on here. And again, it looks terrible when it's sitting here like this. In fact, a lot of times, like uh, when people have these very expensive night hop customs and stuff, I don't let them see me do this because they're like, oh my God, what are you doing to my gun? Uh, no, it's all part of the process. You want to mate or not? So, if you want to mate, it has to be done. Yeah. Okay. So again, it doesn't look like much of anything yet, but it'll actually come out really cool here in a minute. So, yeah, I wish I had something to put in here to make this a little straighter, but I don't think it's going to matter when this kind of gets pulled down and around. So what we're doing is we're just trying to make a relief because we don't want the uh, post to scratch the gun. So. On, uh, 
on all these you have a uh, you have something called a post which is kind of like a nut in a nut and bear a nut and bolt kind of situation so this is a little bit of foam right here pull this down All right, where are we going? Okay, get ready to watch paint dry. Yeah, it's a good time. Anyway, <laughs> this is an old vacuum tray, but it works great. So we've got another one and stuff like that over here too, though. But believe it or not, this thing is is actually pretty good. Um, a lot of you had it for a while. Oh, dude, this this it's is a workhorse when we got it. Yeah, that's a workhorse. The thing is, this bladder, for some reason, is hard to find this thickness of bladder material for this deal. So if you go, what is the hand? Yeah, the bladder. And again, this looks. I mean, looks. Man, it looks bad. But um, you're gonna see here just a second. So this is ready. Let's turn that pump on. What I'm doing is, is I'm gonna make sure this is a new oven. It's a little uneven on the heating, but that's okay. That's all gonna come off. So, but uh, a lot of these different companies that make these bladders, they're very thin and you can only use them so many times before they split on you. This, this has probably got, I mean, I'd say probably 5,000 bulls on it. And Holy crap, and it's still going. Yeah, so it's totally fine. So what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that everything's in here, the details in here. This won't take very long. Sometimes what we'll do is we'll take a little bit of water and uh, put it on here. If you don't want to soak it, you don't want to drown it um, because it's actually evaporation is what does a better job of it. So, so we just want it to be kind of wet. It will evaporate off pretty quick and then it'll be ready to come out. This thing is so old, it does not, the lock does not work on it like it should. So we just have a, uh, you know, we have a, a better pump than, you know, like a heart, it's not a harbor freight, it's a, it's a nice pump. So. This will run, this is run all day, all day. It's the uh, same one they'd use in the hospital. Because remember, we, we, we come from a medical background. Uh -huh. So, um, doing orthotics and prosthetics and stuff like that. So, so this is this thing actually came from the hospital, okay? They sold that to us. Um, but it's still going. Yeah, it's old. Don't fix, don't fix it if it's yeah, not broken, exactly, you know what I mean? Exactly. And then uh, we, we bought, that's a pretty expensive pump and everything. So that's pretty much done. You can see that most of this is already evaporated. So that's one way to tell. So what we have to do now is we have to cut this. We have to cut it in a certain way for revolvers. Um, some of these companies, they'll have a cool CNC'd out, you know, um, blank or whatever to do these and they can mass produce them. The problem is, is that when you do anything custom, they can't really, they have a hard time doing custom stuff. All right. And if they're, if they're a big company, they hardly, they won't usually do anything custom because, um, it would just take away from their mass production. So we're not like that. We, we're one of the few ones that we do a lot of holsters, but we are not so busy that we can't do custom stuff for people. Uh, I'm gonna move over here and you probably can't come over there because I've got stuff flying and everything else. So yeah. that's safe. I'll cut it. All right. All right. Get to work. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> he chuckles. <laughs> I hear that all the time, man. I told everybody I used to work with this. I mean, I'm gonna work for myself. And uh, that was a lie. Uh, I have two bosses. I have my wife and my father. So, this place is just nasty. You should have been here this weekend. It was it was crazy. We actually had people, like we had, we had a hobby store in here. They had like uh, the drones, they were flying those. Uh, we had- Was it a drone shop here? Yeah, there's a drone shop on the other, around the, it's not right around the corner, it's on that first row of buildings. It's called Samana's Hobbies. Samana's oh, I got a drone in my car right now. I was, hey, I was getting ready to fly it. He's a, he's a gun dealer. And he's one of the cheapest, like, most of them. Oh, there's a gun shop over there? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to go in and check it out. But he's, he's, well, I think he is open to this, uh, this Monday. Usually, um, usually it's closed on Monday, but he told me that he's going to be open from now until Christmas. He'll be open every Monday. Oh, okay. So, I'm going to check it out. After this. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna mounting this onto this small leather. This is a grab and go leather here. Oh okay. And do that. And so you kind of see how that was just not quite level, but we got that's what I get a heat gun for. 
we gotta play with it. There and we'll, we'll, we'll fix that. We're gonna play with it. So. Yeah, I'm still using this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me see that again. Yeah, I made that. That's awesome. I was just making sure. You made a single one for me. Yeah. But I am not using it. Yeah. I still have it, but I am not using it. Let's see. Do that last. These Ulti clips are awesome, but they're just, man, they're expensive. For, you know, they're just expensive. I love them though. They're, they're worth it. So it's just a clip on? Yeah, it's uh, it clips on. This is really good for like women who like wear like uh, athletic, you know, pants like jogging stuff, uh, sweatpants, yoga pants. Uh huh. I got some yoga pants that I are. Then my uh, girlfriend needs one of those. Yeah. Just thinking here. That's another reason why I think a lot of holster manufacturers do awesome stuff. I think a lot of them don't want the headache of, of having to uh, to do custom stuff all the time. And it is, you know, it's challenging. Nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. I love these DeWalt's, man. So there's no forward or backward button. You push the button and then either you turn or you, you, you know, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So, oh, shit. Yeah. Like so much about three of them. So. When they made those, I never seen those. Yeah, they've been out for a while. Really? Yeah. Oh, I've never seen them in Home Depot or anything like that. Got the one that looks like a drill that does the same thing, but these, these are the stuff. Especially if you're using a, you know, using a like a screw gun all the time. Mm -hmm. It is really the greatest thing ever. So. This one on this door, this is a uh, it's like a countersink tool. I call it the reamer. I always claim it's my wife's favorite tool. You know? She just likes to ream my hands. Babe, I'm filming. I'll call you back. So I like to clean all these up, you know, real good. This this is a new <coughs> kit, so it doesn't it's not too bad. biggest thing on this is making sure he gets a full purchase on the handle but making sure that this uh the hammer because it's not a hammerless one mm -hmm. i don't want that digging into him okay. another cool thing is is that um if you've ever done any kind of woodworking a lot of times you'll not really when you drill through something, uh -huh. you'll get splinters on the other side. You can kind of, you know, mess up the finish on the on the back side of where you're drilling into. And if if you put a piece of wood behind it, you know, clamp it on there really good, it'll stop that. Same thing is true with leather. It's not quite to the same extent, but um, when you use another piece of leather there, it just makes for a very clean, you know, front and back hole. Mm. So. They almost look like spurs on the back on the they back of a boot. Like yeah. So, see, this is since this is all custom, this is all handmade. So everything we're doing here is kind of a one-off. So it's not a, it's not something we're putting a jig and we put the holes in a certain spot. It's uh, this is completely handmade. So and these are the barrels we're talking about. These are stainless steel. And so, let's see, think about these is it not going to rust up on you or anything like that. It should not. If it does, bring it back. What's that? If it does, it bring it back. Yeah, it's on the back side here. So. Oh, shoot, you can tell which way you go to, even though it's upside down like that? Yeah. Oh, shit. Innovation, man. Yeah, I love these, man. These are the greatest things ever. And so, um, so sometimes when you're doing it, especially when you do it by hand, the holes don't always line up pretty good. 
But sometimes you got to kind of, you'll get cross it. So you can always, you can back out of it real easy. It's kind of, it's just got an audience. I was married, I was married one night. So, you know, you know, I got this special feeling. <laughs> <laughs> are you the president of this sucker just bad? Oh. What happens? Pops, G you ready? I'm asking, did you eat already? Yeah, I did. I ate something. You can't do this because I can't remember what it was. <laughs> 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 no, no, you know how I always brag how these don't give me a hard time? And they, they give you and Jen fits. You know, they're trying to put these in. Oh, yeah. I, I hope they give you a hard time. <laughs> 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 Excuse me, Gordon. Now, it's definitely tight. Just want to make sure it's not too tight. I'll have to see how this feels on. I kind of feel like this is kind of at an angle right here. Mm -hmm. So I can put a bigger washer in here. It's not, you know, to even this out. But I don't want this to be too, I don't want it to be too far out because I don't want it to be bulky. You know, it's, uh, it's is it putting in? Be, is it putting uh, in waistband or outside? It's be inside the waistband. Well, that's actually good because it's actually pushing it against between well, his, his thigh and his, and his pants. It, but at the same time, we don't want. Where where a lot of people, when they look at like a, like one of our main holsters, our IWB holsters, mm -hmm. uh, it's sort of like a crossbreed if you know what a crossbreed looks like, and they think, oh, this is way too big. But when they put it on, they're like, oh, it's it's nice. It's yeah, thin. it's nice and thin. And so it's thin in the part that matters. It does not. It's not bulky in the pants, so you're not having to buy a bigger pair of pants. Want him to try it on? I'm going to have him try it on here in just a second. But i got to do something very important. Let me get that dry out of the way. This thing real quick. I'm going to put a mark on this so it'll put our stamp up upside down here. Now because I have an audience, I'm going to hit my thumb, my finger. It's going to be bloody. It's going to be terrible. So, did not do that so there's our logo what's so, that that's too too much shade there we go too much shade. there we go i see it so, now see all right let's gonna try it on yeah we'll see how he likes it okay you're back already oh yeah it's gonna be forever i actually forgot my jacket here so. oh you did <laughs> But I figured uh, I'd get my, um, I got some business done for this. Oh, cool. Uh, cool. Sweet. All right, where's your deal? Or if it's going to be a while, I can even check out his own store. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he he might have to go do the same thing. They were just telling him about yeah, that. They're, they're, open they're, they're, uh, saying they're, gonna open, uh, they're open today. They're for saying they're going to be open every Monday until Christmas. Oh, Mike? I want you to try this on. Okay. You <laughs> need the money, but yeah, you got to try this on, though. Make sure you like it. Okay, if I need to make any adjustments, we can. Make sure it's working. So, I'm going to get you some change real quick, all right? Okay. I'm checking out the stats on the well, I'm trying to figure out where to tell me how many rounds did the thing do. You know, this would be that mess. I can't see. Okay. Oh, sorry. There you go. 11, 11 yeah, plus 11. 1. Okay, that's for the health care. How about okay. the uh, yeah. uh, 365? How's that feel? It feels good. Feels really good? Unless you yeah. get in nice and, and snug. And you can get 13. Yeah, it'll yeah. feel a lot more snug yeah. when I have my jeans on. Right, huh. right. I uh, kind of tight the pool, but. Picked up one of those um, 365. You can loosen that if you need it to come out a little bit more if you want. Yeah, XL. Uh, I need yeah, to come out a little easier. Oh, really? It just seems like. I had one for a while. Um, yeah. I like the gun. What I didn't like. Was well, actually, that's actually loose enough. It's sharp. It just... And because I carry gear, um, mm -hmm. it like scrapes. It's yeah. not really high. Yeah. Try. Yeah. There you go. No, it's because your your shorts. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. It's getting yeah. that little sloppy play. Yeah. Kind of you know, pull the handle towards you a little bit though, so you ain't twist it. So you yeah, twist. No. You're, you're twisting it like this. Like that. Yeah. You no. want to twist it the other way. The other direction. Toward no. Toward your body. Oh, there you go. There you go. Now. Okay. okay. There we it's go. Just because the cylinder is fatter than the uh, the trigger guard, 
So in a hybrid like that, you just have to you have to sort of line that up. So, I got you. you so know, if you look in the mirror, you probably figure out what yeah. we're talking about. So there. turn, yeah. turn the handle to you, okay? So if you think about your hand to your body here. Yeah. Okay. Well, these shorts are kind of more in the way. Man. So you see, you see what I'm talking about? Though? But yeah, I think so. Here, here let me. <laughs> so that's the reason why I don't wear shorts. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So look, here's what I mean, I'm not going to have all these kind of shorts, but I normally yeah. wear like khaki shorts. Well, the, the, yeah. the important thing is that you're not going to be, you know, we're not John Wayne. Yeah. So no. when you're going to put this in, okay, what you're going to do is you're going to twist the handle to you, okay, okay. like that. And that's going to, because if you kind of look at this, see how this is all bigger? Mm -hmm. And so when you're going to put this in, straight, see how the, see how the trigger guard is okay. lining up? When you bend this in a little bit, it's going to go to a lot more. Hey, hey, he's not gonna pick you up. You like a pretty forward can't? Uh, I carry that three or four, between three and four o'clock. No, I'm talking about the angle. Oh yeah, I want a can't. Dan, I can't carry you. <laughs> Let's put it this way, I don't want to. How long, how long you had him? Uh, he's four years old. Oh. Yeah. One more year, I'll be able to see him as my cat. Oh yeah. He acts like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sniff his food. If you don't like it, he does that little <laughs> walk away. <laughs> you know, he's horrible. Horrible. Look at him. Say this thing up. Five or six years now. Oh yeah, so you've been been sewing for a long time. You make it look easy. Well, I only throw a few thousand of these. <laughs>
Uh-oh. I'm almost out of battery. What? I'm almost out of battery. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, Rob, working hard. <laughs> Polishing this up right here. A little challenging right here, but I'm going to spend too much time on it because uh, I'm going to probably have to heat this a little bit. So, this is in. I don't want this to be something that's sharp on your, on your finger right. you know, when you're doing that. So, it's kind of important that that's smooth. Let's go over here and blow this off. You ready to close the front door? Just to be sure. What's that? You ready to close the front door and lock it? The front one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I gotta have, you gotta have a key. No, did you lock it though? No, I don't think I have. You gotta have gonna have another customer. No. Let's finish this. Okay. Kind of like I did the, uh, on that, that revolver one you saw. What I'm doing is I'm kind of compromising. I don't want the threaded barrel to stick out too much. Mm -hmm. I don't want this to stick out too much. So I'm trying to, trying to, Kind of compromise a little bit here. What I do is I usually do mark uh, one side. I go ahead and knock these holes out, and then I take the gun out, do the other side. It just works better. Let's run for air. The um, Ken, the one you know, what kind of clips do you use on his holster? What kind of clips? Yeah. Those are, um, they're actually Raven concealment, um, what they call them, struts or whatever, but they're, they're like a, just a one and a half inch belt type clip, they're tuckable, which I like to use those for certain types of holsters. Um, they're not, they're not the best in the world for everything, mm -hmm. but for certain things like appendix type carriers are really good. They're, they're soft, they're flexible, so they're not, they're not going to dig into you too much when you're, uh, doing appendix. Mm -hmm. Um, for, um. Uh, for holsters like these, they're not so they're not as good, um, mainly because they're just not as strong as the uh, as the steel clips. Now there's there's pros and cons to everything though. Yeah. There so is. while the steel clips, you can actually get away with not wearing a belt, or you can put the belt on top of the steel clips. Right. Because they're strong enough where they'll actually clamp onto the uh, to the pants or the jeans or whatever you're wearing. Um, I always wear a belt. Yeah, most people do. Most people, most people do, but you know a lot of women don't. And, oh, that's uh, true. They uh, they like that ability on those. Um, if we're not using the ulti clip, they're going to use like a regular IWD with two clips. That's typically they're always going to go to the uh, the steel clips. Um, but the Raven ones, like they, they definitely have some advantages for certain situations, such as appendix. Appendix, exactly. That's the big thing is the appendix, and they're tuckable. Whereas uh, a foamy clip. Which is like, I uh, got a foam clip somewhere here. So, like this is called a foamy. It, don't, it probably stands for something or whatever, but uh, F O M I, I think it's like how they spell it. But the uh, foamies, they're, they're really good. They're, they're great for speed and uh, they have a, a wider sort of surface area. So, they do a really good job. But you, you can't tuck your shirt in with that at all. Oh, you can't? So, yeah, and these are usually standalone clips, meaning that you're not gonna have more than one on a, a holster or a rig or anything like that. It's gonna be just one. So a lot of times just like We The People or some other types of holsters, they'll typically have a foamy style clip. It may not be the exact same one. Some of them have like a cool slot in there so you can do the pivot and everything like that on there. We do, uh, we do something similar, but it's not a, it's not a slot another hole so you can change the pants on okay so usually we don't make them this big but this is a freaking monster so uh, <laughs> this particular die that we use for our leather yeah i know right it is a freaking monster Jesus. 
is um, that's one of the big boys, man. It's one of the bigger boys. Uh, so they uh, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and don't have it. That's right. I mean, you never know when the zombies are going to come. Man. Exactly. They're pretty much they're pretty much got that zombie apocalypse going on now. Just replace you know idiot with zombie. That's pretty much where I'm. This is a homemade thing I did a long time ago because we used to have the dies uh, for the leather. We, we didn't have them where they cut the, um, cut the holes. So I did this to make my life a little easier rather than measuring them out or anything like that. Every time. Yeah. It makes it a lot faster. What's wrong with that? It doesn't eject the uh, leather out automatically. And what you can't really appreciate on video is how hard it is to punch these holes in leather like this. So my kids will come up here and I'll get them to try to do it. They can't do it with two hands. And I got them convinced I'm Superman because I can do it one handed all day long. But well, you do make like over a thousand all day long. Yeah, over a thousand, two thousand a month. So. Yeah. to use a little bit larger washer because I'm a big guy so no but the reason I like the bigger washers they're harder to put in but I mean, there's almost no chance they're gonna come undone on me you go with a too small a washer you know, it might, not, it might not be in a week or two, but you know, after six months, sometimes the screws can back out on you. So I like doing this because they don't, uh, they don't ever back out. There's nothing worse than getting a phone call from a customer saying, hey, I lost some screws. So, I don't like that. They need the best in blue tape. Use a ton of it here. Blue tape is good because it's, it doesn't leave a residue on the gun. Um, and I get out of protection you need. Yeah. So this is where it gets tricky though because this has not only wider than your gun, it also comes down a little further. This little catch right here for the battery compartment mm -hmm. makes it a little tough. And so also we kind of look at the way this indent indentation is here. It means that when you're gonna put this in, this is kind of hitting here, but we're going to heat this up with a heat. I like it kind of fairly loose. That's good. Cool. <laughs> it does look. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See? I like it like that. In and out. Do I have a problem flying, uh, flying, uh, flying off of my... What's it? No. Because it's always angled. Yeah. Well, you know, if it's inside the pants too, being a little looser is okay because uh, on a hybrid like this, your body will actually create a tension uh, that'll hold the gun in. A lot of people will take a hybrid, they'll turn it upside down, the gun will fall out. Mm -hmm. Now in this case with the light and everything, you're probably not gonna have that problem. But on like a, a straight up 911, not a 911, 1911, there's a 911 Springfield mix. Um, yeah. Yeah, you know, a lot of times people think, oh man, this is this falls out, it's got no retention. Well, that's because their body's not on this. So mm -hmm. uh, that's a real common sort of misconception. So now, now I just had to heat this up a little bit. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm putting this in and out because this is still really spongy. So as it cools, I want to make sure that I can still, you know, pull the gun out. I don't want it to act like a handcuff where it's sort of constricting down here. Like that one. Where you can't, 
Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, but like a, like a handcuff like on your hands. The reason why handcuffs work is because your wrist is smaller than your hands. So you don't want an, you know, you don't want an area here that's too narrow. You won't be able to get the fattest part of the line right. and everything through. It's feeling pretty good. And it's, and it's smooth. It's not jerky. There's not like a, a, a rough spot in there. So that's kind of a, it's kind of a trick of getting that just right. Oh, you're closed. I to answer phones at six o'clock. Okay, that feels pretty good. Now, the big thing is, is you need to try this on. Okay. What's up on y'all YouTube? This is Jim and I again. So we're here for the closeout video. So why would you get back home from uh, Triple T Holsters? And as you can see from all the tour and everything and how to make uh, their own holsters, um, I recommend them, okay? Uh, lifetime warranty on the holsters. Anything wrong with your holsters if you ever get one built for your custom like. Um, replacements, fixing, repair, and all that is lifetime as long as you still have the holsters, okay? Uh, there's a lot of uh, guns out there with RMRs and you know, flashlights like what I have now and everything, they're really hard to find holsters for those type of guns, especially when you have a silencer, okay? Um, it's really hard to find one that has a light, RMR, a silencer on your pistol alone, and you know, to find a holster for it. If you're in the Houston area or around the Kima, Texas area, Galveston, Conroe, Woodlands, Katy, you know, uh, Sugarland, you're close by, you're not very far from uh, Triple T Holsters. All you do is bring your gun in, ask them what you want, what you want, want done, inbound, waistbound, etc., etc., et cetera, what kind of type of kydex, what color do you want, something like that, and as you sit them away, he'll get it done, okay? When I got out there, it was packed, okay? So, I mean, well, it wasn't too packed, it's just there were so many orders that needed to be done before I got there, before it was my turn. So, I was the last one, so I don't mind, you know? And um, I was able to get my holsters done, you know. So my Warhawk 1911 here um, has a threaded barrel for you to put your silencers on. You know, when you shoot this gun here, it's going to sound like a pellet gun. Um, I think we'll get one in the future later on. And I have my Surefire X300. I did order one of these. Um, when it comes out, I'll see what I'm trying to do a review for you guys. But this is my old one, this is from my other Nighthawk. So my new one, when I get that one, I'm gonna put it back on the other one and just use this one here on this one. So as you can see, it's, you know, really well made, okay, really well made. My silencer sticks out just a little bit right here, okay, just a little bit, okay. Other than that, um, lifetime warranty on these holsters, okay. I have many, many of these, okay. Um, apparently I don't have a 1911, um, in my waistbound with the flashlight, okay, because this one here has a rail. My Kimber didn't have a rail system, it is, so I can't put a flashlight on it, so um, I have to get one custom made, okay. Um, as you can see, it goes in, slides in, no problem, and it looks great, okay. I have the gun angle tilted forward a little bit, and that's how I like it, so when I draw out my side, it's a faster draw for me to compare to like that. Okay, so um, really well made. I want a carbon fiber look on the outside shell, and it worked fantastic so far. It's still brand new. I need to break it in so it can go in and out a little more easier over time because it is real leather, so it's leather. Um, it's very comfortable to wear. It looks big and everything, but when I wear it, you know, when you guys saw my last three, uh, last two pictures before you see this call video, you see how it is on my side. So I usually care about three or four o'clock off around that area. You know, and um, I'm happy with it. Okay, so as you can see, the silencer does stick out just a little bit. Just a little bit. And does it bother me? No, no, it don't. And it fits great, you know. Um, this will be my backup beater, okay. Um, I will use this to, um, with something wrong with my Kimber, and I will use this right here, okay. So, Hope you guys liked the video. I will add links to the bottom of the video um, where if you want to order online or talk to Rob or his dad, if you want to have a particular holster, they might have some molds they can use. If they don't have the, the type of particular type of mold or accessories you have in your gun, 
and you want it to be done, you're going to have to bring it in, okay? So, um, but I'll add links, like, links below to their store, an uh, online store, as well as Facebook, okay? I will also add links below for my shirts and hoodies if you guys want me to support the channel more. Thank you for watching. Again, hit the like button and subscribe and share, okay? Until then, peace.
since I kissed you I don't wanna wait How long has it been since you held me? 